Hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to Go Figure Customs YouTube channel. So, I shot a video review of the new Joy Toy figures, the White Viper Squad, and the video corrupted. I had I was having a hard time sharing it from my phone to my computer so I could do the post-processing. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll just play the video and maybe that's it's having problems converting it or something. I don't know. Um, but it, like, in the middle of it just went to a slow motion and just the file was corrupted. So this will not be an unboxing video, unfortunately. It will just be a review because I've already unboxed it and I've already done the review. So I'm just going to do the review again. Uh, luckily, I haven't thrown anything out. So... Uh, First thing I uh, will go over is the packaging, which is now empty, but it still has really cool art on the front with the uh, um, the unit name, which is the Free Tourism. Uh, that should be twentieth, but it's S T instead of T H, so English. And guys, get yourself a translator. Uh, Legion uh, White Viper Squad uh, with the Battle for the Stars logo. Uh, I really dig the art. On the back, uh, you can use that's the accessories face out this way, the figures face out this way. Um, you got the Battle for the Stars logo on the sides, the Joy Toy logo. On the other side is the Free Truism uh, unit logo, and um, just says Free Truism on the battle on the bottom. Uh, no, that's the top. Sorry, uh, the Battle for the Stars with the usual age restrictions and, and uh, choking hazard stuff. On the bottom, it's just the indicia with the address for the company and the product uh, parameters. Uh, there's no QR code on these. Uh, the ones that do have a QR code, um, I did try it finally uh, to see what it would do, uh, and it doesn't do shit. Uh, it ended up opening my app store and tried to ask and tried to get me to download a uh, uh, a chat application similar to WhatsApp but different. Um, I'm guessing so maybe I could chat with the people that that make these. I, I don't know. Um, I don't think it would work very well since we do not speak the same language. So the QR code doesn't do anything. If you're curious, and I, I kept saying that I was gonna review, you know, it's gonna look that up one time, see what it does, what it does. It doesn't do shit, at least not for me. All right, and your may your results may vary depending on where you're at, I guess, too. So, first figure already geared up. So we've got a new sculpted vest. The exoskeleton is the same. Uh, the exoskeleton is different than the female skeleton because it has the chest strap that comes over the shoulders and goes under the arms and you can see side by side comparison how that's a little different uh, i do like the fact that there is a difference between the male and the female exoskeleton i think that diversity is really cool um the pistol uh, is a glock style frame a uh, large frame uh, it doesn't sit down in the holster very well, but it seems to stay in the holster a little better. Uh, you can see the USS, my second USS flag right here. That's where I put all of my Joy Toy figures. They get knocked over a bunch, and my deck is just littered with Joy Toy uh, pistols because they don't stay in the holsters very well. Uh, on the left leg, you can see a peg hole, so it would be really cool if uh, Joy Toy came out with some accessories that you could utilize these peg holes for, uh, because on the female, the peg hole is utilized, is being utilized by the knife, whereas uh, on the male, sorry, trying to get her stand, stay standing, um, the knife, it does have a knife like the female, but it's uh, glued behind the the uh, the legging the leg part of the exoskeleton and that knife is uh removable Boink. um so it leaves that peg hole open which would be you know like i said it'd be cool if they uh made something that could peg into there some sort of accessory uh, the articulation is fantastic on this uh, i don't have any problems with the articulation it's all the same we got the ball jointed head the shoulder ball jointed shoulders dub uh the regular elbow, the wrist, 
uh, my wrists uh, are sticking on my figures uh, on this set, particular set, so I am going to need to take a hair dryer to them and soften them up. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, break the pegs if I force those. So keep an eye, if you get these, keep an eye on your wrists because uh, mine are sticking. Otherwise, everything is uh, fantastic. This is the helmet that it comes with. So it comes with three of this particular helmet. And then it comes with one of the helmets that Betty comes with. Uh, someone had mentioned to me that the reason it comes with one unique helmet is uh, that's your team leader. So whoever you give that to uh, is your team leader, which I think is, is a pretty nifty idea, honestly. But I really, really, really... Whoops. I really, really like the design on this helmet. So all three of my guys are going to get that helmet just because I really dig that helmet. Uh, I'm pretty sure the head sculpt's one we already have. Uh, and I think the body armor, the chest, uh, the plate carrier is new. Is a new sculpt. And it's a new weapon there too. Let me get that from you there, bud. So everybody can see it. I really like that weapon. This is the gun that I wish Betty had come with. It's a fantastic sculpt. Nice heavy assault rifle. Kind of maybe like a grenade launcher. Kind of larger. Still reminiscent, but a larger version of like the uh, Aliens uh, Colonial Marine pulse rifle. So yeah, I, I wish Betty had come with uh, this particular weapon. But she did not, alas. So there's your first figure straight out of the box. Um, again, already geared up since I'd already shot the review of these during an unboxing, but the video was corrupted. So, God damn it. Uh, the second figure, everything's identical except the heads. Whoops. The head sculpt which has, uh, he had a high and tight with shaved. Uh, no, this is the high and tight. All right, maybe I didn't put them back in order. All right, which head sculpt is this? Uh, yeah, this so shaved down the sides with a slicked back. This was actually uh, in the middle when I took them out of the package. So this was the, I'm working left to right. So this was the first, actually the first figure out of the package. Uh, I'm using the same helmet that the other guy had uh, and the same rifle. So it comes with three of this particular rifle. And it does come with other guns, and I will show those to you in a minute. Uh, otherwise, everything is identical. We've got the, the pistol, same pistol, same knife. Uh, everything fits nicely. Again, I'm having problems with my wrists. They're really stuck on this third figure. So I'm going to take a hair dryer to them for about five seconds and soften up that plastic to to break the seal on those oops dropped one of the guns here i uh really really like the uh black armored skeleton faced uh skeleton warrior uh skeleton figure set that that came out previous to this but man i really like this head sculpt the helmet sculpt on these two i'm having a tough time deciding which one's uh, my favorite of the two because I, I also like the weapons on these because it came with all new weapons which are fantastic um, everything's the same on this guy compared to the other ones uh, I'm pretty sure we got we've have a that head sculpt I think it came in one of the PLA lines but I'm not positive I can't keep track keep I can't keep track of the the amount of head sculpts that uh, we have. And I'm actually not even sure how many Joy Toy figures I have anymore. I'm pretty sure it's well over 100. Um, so there's your uh, three figures straight out of the box. Since I can't do an unboxing video for you, I'm sorry about that. Um, it's the same buck, but uh, and the same exoskeleton with uh, the knife just moved in a different place. Uh, and I think pre-existing head sculpts, but the helmet is brand new and looks fantastic. Um, so playability is off the charts. That's always one of the things I touch on um, because the exoskeleton does not hinder the articulation at all. 
uh, and just adds to the adds to the playability of the figure. Customizability is also one of the things I like to touch on. My co-host will customize just about every action figure he gets because there's always usually like one little thing that he doesn't like about it. Or he'll do what I do and just like customize it from the, just completely into a new figure. But uh, he'll fix any of the flaws that uh, that he feels that the, the figure has come with straight out of the box. And I got to say straight out of the box, none of these, I don't see anything that needs to be fixed the aside from the the hand sticking the the articulation the paint job the the sculpt the weapons everything is top notch on these um so customizing to fix problems i don't see that as an issue customize these customizing these into new figures has limitless potential the fact that these are called uh viper uh white viper squad uh, the word Viper to me is reminiscent of the 1986 G.I. Joe figure, the Cobra Viper. And I think it would be really cool to customize these, just repaint these uh, in the colors of the 1986 Cobra Viper, which was uh, red, blue, and black uh, with a little bit of silver here and there. I think that would be a really awesome custom, you know, a, a futuristic Cobra Viper. I think that would be awesome i'm not going to customize these i only got one set of these um i kind of wish i had got the second set but uh with being uh sort of laid off for the last couple of months because of the coronavirus and money's a little tight so uh, i did not get a second set uh we did get one of the foot lockers Pelican cases. Um, inside, it did come with one throwing axe, which I don't didn't see anybody that had a clip. Did I miss that? No, nobody has a clip for the the one throwing axe, and then one set of joints. Um, I haven't needed replacement joints, uh, and I end up throwing those in a, a fishing tackle box altogether. Uh, one of the other weapons here, I'm going to move some of these guys. Uh, well, do I, yeah, I'm going to move these guys out of the way. Hang on a sec here. One of the other weapons that uh, came in the set is uh, uh, like this Milcor 40 millimeter grenade launcher. I love the sculpt on that. That is fantastic. Uh, and then uh, like a, like a saw machine gun i think that's different than the previous saws that they've come out with in the um armed forces line but i'm not positive i don't think i have one of those handy yeah i don't have one of those handy i have so many figures on my on my flag that it would take me forever just to find one guy that's holding these um i i like the sculpt uh i the previous saws that have come out in like the armed forces line i did not like the sculpt of these but i do like this one so i'm pretty sure that's a new weapon as well um the other thing that i not sure if i mentioned because i've shot like this is the fourth video i've shot when it should have been just the second is the fact that um with the window box packaging you're no longer getting the the hard plastic stackable figure display tubes um so you know i'm kind of two of a of two opinions on that i have a shitload of those i have a, a huge friggin tub of them that's overflowing i don't use them um but they are a fantastic idea i've i've not seen anything like them i used to display my customs in tubes like that before i uh, learned how to make my my own custom cards and that's how I display my my customs now. As I put as I card them to make them look like they came out of a retail store. Um, so I don't really need them, but I I think a I think a lot of people might be disappointed that they're not getting those anymore. Um, at the same time, the fact that you're not getting them probably decreases the price on your figures a little bit too. Those things can't be cheap to make, so it's a trade off to be sure. You know, if you're using them, you're probably upset that you did, 
the figures aren't coming with them anymore. But if you're not using them, you're not going to miss them either. Uh, I think that's about all I got for the video. It's really short compared to my normal unboxing videos because uh, I, I, like I said, I've already shot the video. So it's like trying to rehash stuff. Uh, normally, uh, I get asked a lot where I bought my figures from. And I say usually half a dozen times in each video, I bought them from Locker Toys. Yes, you can get them from Big Bad Toy Store, but they charge more and their shipping is more. And they don't get them nearly as soon as uh, Locker Toys does. And Locker Toys will ship, uh, you, is, air freights them, and it takes three days to get them. Uh, and they will get them first since Locker Toys is in Hong Kong and where these are manufactured is also in Hong Kong. So that's why they just got to go across town before they ship them three-day air to you. Whereas they'd have to ship them uh, to Big Bad Toy Store and then Big Bad Toy Store has got to ship them to you. Uh, also, if you buy through Locker Toys, if you pre-order them, they usually have, they always have some sort of discount for uh, doing an early pre-order. I did a pre-order on the set of three guys with the with Betty, and it had a 7% discount. Uh, I bought a couple of the Betty figures individually, and they each had a 5% discount on that. Big Bad Toy Store isn't going to do that for you. Um, I'm just kind of not enamored with Big Bad Toy Store the way I used to be. Um, I did like the pile of loot, uh, especially when I uh, worked when I, well, I still work overseas, but like when I was in Afghanistan and I didn't get home for six months at a time to a year, I just left everything in my pile of loot and then hit ship, uh, you know, like a week before I departed, before I left. And then I'd have huge pile of stuff waiting for me when I got home. Um, but now Big Bad Toy Store, uh, you have to ship your stuff within, I'm pretty sure it's 90 days. Um, so you can't do that anymore. I'm guessing they're just running out of, uh, running out of, um, warehouse space. Um, so, you know, I'm still going to recommend Locker Toys because it's cheaper, because the shipping is not as expensive, Big Bad Toy Store, and the shipping is faster. I think that's about all I got for you on the videos. Um, for the video review of this, I hope you found it uh, useful. These are fantastic figures. I love everything about them. And I probably say this every time. And this is like one of my favorite sets so far. They just keep knocking it out of the park. Um, all the fun social media stuff. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. Always open to suggestions for new videos. Always like to hear what everybody thinks about the figures once they get them in hand. Um, and I think that a lot of people have bought these figures based on my reviews. I know I'm one of the only, pe one of the only people doing this in English. Um, so I'm always happy to to provide this service uh, for for people. These are definitely worth getting. Uh, they are a little pricey. They're not as expensive, excuse me, as they could be, but they're they're more pricey than like GI Joe figures. But the second you get these in hand, you see where your money went. They are definitely worth the the a little extra price than uh, than the um, than like GI Joes and the. You know, the only G.I. Joes in the stores right now, if you can find them, are the six-inch ones or the retro Joes, which everybody already has those figures. So, uh, and I did see that someone had shared one of my videos this morning, so I do appreciate the shares. And then subscribe to the channel. Um, I always appreciate it when somebody subscribes to the channel. I think that's about all I got for you today. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for uh, future videos for... Uh, for figure reviews, because Joy Toy just seems to be pumping these things out. Uh, customizing tutorials. Every time I think of something new that I can do a quick customizing tutorial, I'll put one of those up. And we'll always have more episode, new episodes of General Geekery coming out. So, thanks for watching.